One of the most effective ways to sell products and services online is by utilizing webinars. Webinars are great because essentially they're sales presentations in which you can describe your product, describe your features and benefits, and describe how your product or service may help someone overcome an issue that they may be facing in their lives. The problem with webinars is that they can be very expensive. To pay monthly for a webinar can be very costly for a small business. And if you're not very tech savvy, it can be very complicated and difficult to get a webinar set up. But recently, I found a webinar software that solves both of those issues. It's called Webinar Kit, and in today's video, we'll be doing a full review of this new webinar tool. We'll be taking a look at the pricing, at the features, at the benefits, and we'll actually go ahead and set up a webinar just to show you how easy it is to get started with Webinar Kit. Starting with pricing, Webinar Kit is one of the most affordable webinar softwares in the market. At the time of recording this video, they do have a lifetime deal. So essentially you just pay one time and you get unlimited lifetime access to webinar kit. Currently it's $97 one time payment and this gives you automated evergreen webinars, just in time or ongoing series webinars, unlimited webinars, and you can create as many webinars as you like. You can also host as many registrants and attendees as you like as well. And you also have a full webinar funnel builder. You have hosting included. You get fully brandable webinar funnels. You get live chat and questions box, analytics, emails, remarketing segmentation, autoresponder, and there's also a 14 day money back guarantee. If you went ahead and compared webinar kit to other tools in the market, you can see that you're saving a lot of money uh, in the long run by getting this lifetime deal. We see here that ever webinar starts at $4.99 per year. Webinar fuel starts at $97 per month, and that's going to be the pricing for most webinar tools. You're going to have to pay monthly um, if you want to go ahead and keep your subscription. But I do like that this is a lifetime deal, so you'll save a lot of money in the long run by going ahead and getting this lifetime deal. And you can also go ahead and get a coupon. So the coupon will give you $20 off. So your pricing will be $77 one-time payment to get access to this very, very powerful webinar tool. The lifetime deal isn't going to be available forever. So if you want to go ahead and grab the lifetime deal before it expires, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. And once you have a plan, this is what your dashboard will look like. Again, very simple and very, very easy to use. If you want to go ahead and create a new webinar, just select new webinar. And the first thing that you'll need to do is upload the video that will be hosted on your webinar. So you want to go ahead and create a video or a sales presentation, which you'll be including um, in your webinar. So when someone enters your funnel, they'll be able to see that video and then take action after that. So once your video is recorded, you want to go ahead and paste the URL um, within this section here. Now, if you go ahead and get Webinar Kit Pro, you actually will be able to host videos right on to Webinar Kit. So if you went ahead and click Use URL, you'll be able to upload your video right onto Webinar Kit. It'll host that video right into one place. You wouldn't have to use Vimeo or another tool. So if you don't want to pay for an external video hoster, I recommend getting Webinar Kit Pro and then you can go ahead and upload it right onto Webinar Kit. So once you upload your video, just go ahead and select that video. And as you can see, it now is selected. Go ahead and click Save. And now your video has been chosen and your webinar has been updated. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So this is where you'd be able to customize your webinar details. So you want to go ahead and give a name for your webinar. So for this example, I'll just name it test webinar. But of course, you want to go ahead and name this whatever um, webinar you're creating. And next, you want to go ahead and enter the webinar duration. So go ahead and take a look at the video in which you uploaded to see how long it is. And then just update these settings right here. Next, you want to go ahead and update your brand image. So if you don't change this, then the webinar kit logo will be um, on your webinar. So just go ahead and change this to your own unique logo for your business. Next, you want to go ahead and create a presenter. So I've already went ahead and created myself as a presenter, but if you wanted to, you can add a new presenter. I'll give it a new name, a new bio, and a new email, and add an image, and then that presenter will be um, on that specific webinar. And lastly, you want to go ahead and customize the webinar schedule. So if you want to do a instant watch, which means as soon as the person enters their information, the webinar will be available to them. You can go ahead and toggle that on. Honestly, I like that the best because I feel like, you know, when you send emails to people to join a webinar in 15 or 20 minutes, usually uh, they get busy with other things. So I recommend doing an instant watch if that works for your business. But if that doesn't work for you, you can also do a just in time session. So this means that anyone who registers for your webinar will be able to have a time slot available within 15 minutes. So no matter when they sign up, 
um, or register for your webinar, they will be a time slot within 15 minutes. So that's a just in time session. Or if you're doing a one off webinar, or you have specific dates for your webinar, you can go ahead and schedule webinar dates. So if you wanted to do specific webinar dates, just go ahead and click add. And as you can see here, you can go ahead and select a specific date and time for that webinar. So to summarize, you have the instant watch, which will allow attendees to instantly have access to your webinar. And you also have the just in time sessions, which will give every attendee a time slot within 15 minutes. And then you have specific dates in which you can choose for your webinar. For this example, we'll do the instant watch, which will allow attendees to instantly get access to your webinar. So once you're happy with all of your settings, go ahead and click save. And then you want to go ahead to the next step. So this is a section of your webinar in which you'll be editing and designing your registration page, your thank you page, and your replay page. So let's go ahead and get started with the registration page editor. The great thing about webinar kit is that they have very well designed and very effective templates in which you can use. So we can see here with this template, this is a very high converting um, and a very traditional webinar registration page. It has your headline here, it has the hooks, then you have an image and your register now button. So very simple, but yet effective landing page. If you wanted to go ahead and change this template, you head over to page template, select template, and you can actually go ahead and choose between a variety of different templates. And if you wanted to preview any of these templates, just go ahead and click on that specific um, template. And as you can see here, you'd be able to see what this will look like on a desktop. I recommend taking a look at all of these different templates and seeing whichever one you like the best, which one works the best for your specific business or the product or service in which you're promoting. Personally, I like this template the best because you're able to add a video onto your landing page. I think videos uh, do really well and they convert a little bit higher when you add them on your registration page. But that's just my preference. Again, you want to go ahead and take a look at all of these different templates and see whichever one works best for you. So once you find a template in which you like, go ahead and click select. And it's very easy to make any edits on this specific page. So just go ahead and use the drop the menu on the left hand side here. You can change the page style. So if you wanted to change any colors, you can go ahead and change that. If you wanted to change the header text color as well, you can change that. If you wanted to change your button colors, just head over to button. And again, you can go ahead and change that very, very easily. So very intuitive and very easy to change the design and the colors and the look of your page. If you wanted to change your page content, head over to that section. And again, we can edit the header text. So the upper text area. And if you wanted to go ahead and edit the upper content, again, just click edit and you can go ahead and make any changes in which you like right here. And again, just go ahead and do the same process to change any other text, just click edit, and then you can make those changes. So very simple, very intuitive to use. Um, you can also go ahead and change any images in which you don't like. If your video isn't showing, just go ahead into video settings and you want to click show video and then you can choose between a large or a small video. And then again, you can go ahead and enter the URL for that specific video. So once you go ahead and enter that URL, that video will then show up in this section here. And if you want to change the footer, just head over to the footer section and you can go ahead and make any changes. And you can also select if you want a countdown timer. You can also select if you want to show presenters. You can also um, select if you want to show registrant activity pop up. So essentially it'll show you um, if someone has registered for this webinar recently. So again, that just helps you to build trust and it allows people to want to register for this specific webinar because they see other people registering as well. And you can also customize the register now section. So if you wanted to go ahead and add more information, which you would like to collect, just head over to the page opt in fields and you can select or deselect information in which you would like to collect from your webinar attendees. If you're collecting phone numbers, you can go ahead and add that in there. And as you can see, phone numbers will then be added in here. And you can also go ahead and add a custom field if you're collecting any specific information. But for the most part, I think name and email is usually uh, good enough when you're collecting information. And that's pretty much it for customizing your webinar pages. It's very, very simple to use. Just go ahead and select on the specific sections in which you would like to uh, make changes and then just follow the instructions um, in order to make those changes. So very, very simple, very intuitive to use. And you want to go ahead and um, repeat that process for all of the specific pages on your webinar. So this is the registration page. Now you'd also want to go ahead and edit your thank you page because once someone registers for your specific webinar, you want to make sure that they're being directed or they have the information which you need to proceed uh, in your funnel. So you can go ahead and include a link for your webinar session here. 
And you can also include any information that's specific to the product or the service in which you're promoting. And you can also go ahead and customize your replay page editor. So this will be the page that webinar attendees will be able to access if they've missed the webinar um, for the first time, or if they want to watch the webinar again, this is the replay page. So you also want to go ahead and customize this page so that um, you can always send this out to attendees just to make sure that they're seeing the content because something may have came up when they were watching it the first time. And once you've edited, designed and customized your pages, go ahead and click next. So as you can see, webinar kit makes it very simple to get a webinar up and running. So here are some live settings which you can play around with. You can include the brand logo or um, hide that. You can also include email question box. You can turn on the webinar live chat. You can turn on email questions box. You can turn on a public chat and you can also enable webinar redirect. So once the webinar is completed, the uh, web page will automatically redirect the webinar attendees to a specific page of your choosing. So for instance, you can redirect attendees after they've watched your webinar to the product or service in which you're promoting. But do note, if you want to go ahead and add webinar chat live and some of these other features, you would need to upgrade to webinar kit pro. Next, you can go ahead and add a webinar offer within your webinar. So I'll show you what this actually looks like when we're finished creating this webinar. The idea here is that you'll be able to create a call to action right within your webinar. So when an attendee is watching your content, you don't have to wait until the end of the webinar to send them to an offer. They'll be able to see that offer at any time that you choose within that webinar. So just head over to the bottom here. And this is where you'd be able to choose when you want the offer to show up within that webinar. So let's say I wanted the offer to show up within two minutes of the webinar. I can go ahead and select that. And within two minutes, that specific offer will show up. And you can also go ahead and turn on a offer countdown um, for that specific offer. You can add a webinar poll. You can also go ahead and add a webinar handout, which will be like a document in which you um, hand out within your webinar. And if you have a webinar kit pro, you can go ahead and add a webinar chat simulator. And these are the webinar label customization settings. So if anyone asks a question um, and they enter their emails, you can go ahead and edit this information here. Um, but once they send you a question on the webinar, you'll get actually get an email um, of that question. But these are just the labels in which you can um, customize for your webinar. Next are your webinar email notifications. So webinar kit will actually go ahead and send out emails when people confirm or join your webinar. And you can also go ahead and choose which other emails you would like to include. So you can do a two day reminder emails. You can do a three hour reminder emails. You can send an email for everyone who attended your webinar. You can also send an email for everyone who registered but didn't attend your webinar. You can send an email for those who watch a certain percentage of your webinar. And you can also send out an email for those who clicked the webinar offer. So you have a lot of different options here in which you can choose from just depending on the type of webinar in which you're creating and the follow up strategy in which you're using. And if you wanted to go ahead and see or edit any of that content, just go ahead and click edit. And as you can see, you'd be able to see um, the subject, you will be able to see the content, and you can go always go ahead and make any changes which you would like to make um, in this section here. Next is email and integrations. If you wanted to go ahead and integrate any of your email softwares, or if you wanted to go ahead and integrate with any of your other tools in which you're using within your business, you can go ahead and connect those integrations right here. Next is conversion tracking and analytics. So if you wanted to go ahead and enter um, those page scripts, you can go ahead and enter that in this section here. And also I forgot to mention, you also have webinar text message notifications. So again, you need webinar kit pro and you need to go ahead and actually buy credits to use this specific feature. But if you are collecting cell phone numbers, you can then go ahead and send text message notifications to your attendees or um, to those who confirmed or joined your webinar. So very cool feature here included, but again, you have to pay a little bit more extra um, to get credits each month. And then you also need to have a webinar kit in order to have access to this feature. And once your webinar is complete, you'll be able to see it on your homepage here. Go ahead and click the um, arrow. You'll be able to get some links here. So the first one will be your registration link. So this is the registration page in which people will put their information in and get access to your content. Next is your watch room replay room and control room. So let's go ahead and take a look at the registration page and see what that looks like. Go ahead and paste that in here. And as you can see, this is the um, page in which we created. Of course, um, you want to go ahead and customize this for your specific product or service. As you can see, we were able to create a fully functioning webinar in just a couple of minutes. And once someone registers for your webinar, if you have the instant watch, they'll be able to instantly have access to your webinar. If not, they'll have a just in time webinar, which will be within 15 minutes of when they registered and they'll be able to access the content at that time. Or if you choose a specific date or time, that will be the date and time in which you'll have access to the webinar.
But as you can see, it's very, very easy to get a webinar set up. This is the chat. This is where people will be able to ask a question and this will go directly to your email. So this is my own webinar in which I use within my business. I'm sure some of you may have already actually went through that webinar, but this is where I show you how I make over six figures on YouTube in less than 12 months. So this is what the registration page looks like. Again, um, we have some headings here, some hooks here, um, some benefits in which you'll be able to gain from this specific webinar. And I went ahead and added in a video here and I have some other pictures and some proofs um, at the bottom here as well. And if someone wanted to register, all they'd have to do is click register now, enter their name, enter their email, go ahead and click register, and they'll have instant access to the full webinar in which I explain everything in which I did to grow from zero to over six figures on YouTube in less than 12 months. And on the right here, this is the offer in which I have for this specific webinar. And if you remembered earlier, we went ahead and included the offer within our test webinar, but this is essentially what it looks like. You'll be able to see um, some headings here. You'll be able to see a nice timer, which will expire at the end of this specific webinar. So it adds some urgency um, for people to take action. And if they went ahead and click enroll now, it takes them over to the specific landing page for this course. Webinar Kit has been a huge help for me personally and for my business. I highly recommend that if you're looking for a very easy to use and affordable webinar tool to check out Webinar Kit, it definitely is one of the best in the market and it continues to grow and it continues to add more features and benefits that allows you to turn visitors into paying customers. So I highly recommend grabbing the lifetime deal for Webinar Kit before it expires. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.